Okay, uh, let's look at this question. A Ferris wheel, a radius 24 meters, placed one meter above the ground, rotates once every 24 seconds. If the person gets on the right at a height of 13 meters above the ground and it starts by rising, so write a sinusoidal function describes uh, the height of the person from the starting position. Uh, so to understand how uh, this connect to a sine or cos function, let's look at the kind of animation here. So this is something you probably uh, watched before. So uh, so this is actually the position of the person. So uh, if the person uh, and then this is red line uh, represents the ground. So this is a Ferris wheel, you know, with radius 24 meter. Uh, of course, the scale is not right. Just approximate to simulate the situation. So the person is actually starting from somewhere here. So which uh, 30 meter. So I explain uh, exactly how is that height. So basically, the height is right now standing the position of the person above this ground. So so here labeled as height. Okay. So if that's the starting point, so the person is gonna rotate, start by rising, right? So it must rotate this direction, and then come to the middle line, continue to rise and all the way come to the maximum height. If it continues, uh, the, right, the height is going to decrease to the middle line and uh, continue to go below and all the way to the lowest point and it continues like this, right? So it continues. And uh, it, there, it, it gives us a uh, number uh, 24 seconds uh, per rotation. So that's going to actually give you the period. Okay, so let's come back to this. Okay, so you know, now you can tell, so the height is actually is exactly uh, can be used, uh, can, uh, can, we can use the sine function to represent the height, which is y here, and the x is the time. Okay, the time is going to be uh, related to actually the angle uh, that radius uh, sweeps over. Okay, and and then uh, obviously the uh, the radius here is actually uh, it's how it, de it determine how high the position can go. So it's actually the a here. So a we get this right away. It must be the radius, right? And then uh, D, uh, D is really you look at the the, the position. So uh, if we know uh, the circle, so let's draw a circle here. Right, draw a circle here, and we change. Uh, draw the circle. And and also let's put uh, some the ground ground is oh sorry so this is the ground okay and uh, this is uh, the center. and this exactly should be the middle line here. So if we know this is one meter here, so this is one meter, and also we know the radius. Radius is 24 meter, right? And then we know uh, the height of the center must be 24 plus 1, that's 25 meter. So that exactly should be uh, the D here, 25 meter. So this is the two uh, things that it can be easily de uh, determined. And the next is about the B. So uh, from the y equals sine x uh, transform to this. So we know for this original function we have the period is 2 pi. So it's approximately uh, 6.28. 
and to transform to this because we have the B but now we know it rotates every 24 seconds so now the new period is 24 seconds now don't confuse with this 24 this is meter this is also meter right okay from 2 pi to 24 so you can use 24 over 2 pi that's actually the, uh, the factor of expansion right so if you simplify you should get 12 over pi but that's not B okay so because uh, when you do the expansion actually you uh, uh, the number should be a reciprocal so if you take a reciprocal that's going to be reciprocal it becomes pi over uh, 12 so that's actually the B so we got a B equals pi over 12 and then the only thing uh, is kind of hard to determine is uh, the phase shift to the C here. So the C, if you look at it from the uh, perspective of transformation, uh, is just how much it's translate uh, translate horizontally. So if the C is positive, it translates to to the right. Uh, if it's negative, it translates to uh, the left. Okay, so now we have to take uh, take a closer look at what is the starting point. So that's exactly decide the phase shift. Uh, if the person starting from here, so the phase shift will just simply be zero. Okay, but now actually it start from here. Okay, that's the starting point. And it's it says thirteen meter here, so this is going to be thirteen meter. And uh, try to figure out how what how much angle is this? Okay, so then we we draw the line, make this perpendicular, and then we should be able to figure out this is going to be twelve here. And then we also know the radius is 24. So can you tell this is uh, the theta here? If you look at the opposite side to the hypotenuse, 12 over 24. So that's 1 over 2. That means the sine theta here is 12 over 24 equals 1 over 2. So 1 over 2, that's the angle. Uh, the trans, uh, the the x here is actually the time. So you have to uh, figure out how much time is equivalent to the angle uh, of theta. Um, now, by the way, the the theta here is thirty degree, right? So based on the the trig ratio sine equals one over two, so it should be pi over six. Okay, and then try to figure out uh, how much time is equivalent to the angle theta uh, pi over 6. So that's exactly the converting factor we figured out earlier. So we use pi over 6, which is angle, times the, the factor of expansion, which is 12 over pi, right? So cancel this. So you can see you can get 2 here right so this one equals 2 the units should be seconds okay okay now uh, you need to figure out another thing is is this the sh uh, shift to the right or to the left now you can see this is actually uh, like the negative angle here so this is actually negative negative pi over 6 so actually the uh, the two second here is the shift starting from the initial position to the left side okay so that means uh, this is actually something to do with the C but it's C should be negative 2 here okay so uh, 
you know, put all this together, so eventually your function should be uh, y equals 24 sine pi over 12 x plus 2. And then plus twenty five. Uh oh, I think I just made a mistake. Uh, this should not be negative. Uh, okay, but I would like to so ex explain this a little bit. Uh, why this should be uh, positive here? So look at the sine graph. Uh, is that's the basic graph, but if you continue, it should be like this, right? So uh, the starting point is right here. That means it's below uh, the middle line, which is below. That means should be here. So that means the new graph. If I change the color, the new graph should look like this. Should look like this. See, you start from somewhere here, so that's why you should have a phase shift to the right from the black to the red one. Okay, so I have to fix this. So you have to have to uh, subtract, subtract the two. Okay, so okay, so finally after you've done this, uh, the best way is you, you try to check. Okay, so for example, when uh, when x equals zero, so uh, can you get y equals thirteen, right? So let's check. If you x zero in, so you get negative two times pi over uh, twelve, you get a pi over negative uh, negative pi over six, which is negative thirty degree. We should get negative one over two negative 1 over 2 times 24 you get a negative 12 and plus 25 yes you should get 13. Uh, of course you can check the other stuff for example if you make the x equals 2 uh, 2 seconds now you understand after 2 seconds you're starting from here so ex you expect the uh, the, uh, the person is going to arrive at this spot so that means your height should be 25 so so you expect y equals 25 uh, that's actually e very easy to verify because when x equals 2 you plug in you got 0 here so this is all gone you get a 25 left so that's also right okay so uh, that's the uh, uh, question uh, of course in the workbook there a uh, couple more questions asking for uh, what time it r arrived, what height. You know, this kind of question uh, is much easier. Okay, so and also you should be able to graph, which is uh, just like the sketch I did for the, the, the red one, very similar. Okay.